What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome back as the adventures continue. Arthur, dumbass. <laughs> Welcome back, Arthur. <laughs> I did not expect that greeting. Anyway, I have a feeling that we're about to have this uh, this fancy fancy dinner party happen, a garden party. Let me put on my fancy clothing. Who's here? Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I mean, I look good. I got my beard's a little scraggly, but I look very, very dapper. Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Everybody but but me gave him a pat. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. That's wonderful, wonderful. That come on this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Bronte, he has a that thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Moving up in the world. Surprised the game didn't make me trim my beard up for this. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. Is that, what's her name? Mistress, that's the natural order of things. Wait, yes, wait, wait, isn't that, wife, isn't that, um... Seemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. 
None taken. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> God, what a douchebag. Before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. I lock that door. That dude is is definitely like top tier, just conceited dickhole. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Anita. Ciao, ciao. Days where you used to shoot each other and screw Gentlemen, cows. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. I wanna go find fat guy. That looked like um that looked like Mary with him. Where did he go? That fat man go. I really think that was Mary with him. These dancers. Well if that's French culture for you. There's the mayor. I don't want to meet the mayor right now. Just a fat boy with Mary. What's weird is now that I'm down here, the only person. I'm from Quebec. It's choking. I came down from You okay? Oh, my lord. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Algin and Wasp. Hello? The fashion is Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, well, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. <laughs> oh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Oof. Good evening. I think if he purges constantly, he'd be a bit less likely to choke. Anyway, I heard that Judith Hawks' bill has taken a cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost as a champagne, sir. Good evening, ladies. Hello, sir.
Where is, oh, here we go. That Dutch over here. Oh. This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, that oh. is. I don't live here. I was here for poker. Oh, you play? Oh, it's, um, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. <laughs> <laughs> Not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my vice is between me and my mate. I keep winning. Not her, Every no. gambler says that, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> yes, I know, but like I said, the next between big tournament. Marriage is more business than romance. And you're romantic. I can't find uh, the fat dude that looked like he was with Mary. I mean, it's probably just just a weird, you know, visual thing. It probably wasn't actually her. Um, let's go talk to the mayor, though. I think we need to do that to continue this. And I've been just wandering around, and I have not. I thought that fat guy that Dutch was talking to might have been a guy, but what's her name wasn't with her. So talk to the mayor. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Basically a fucking bouncer. How do you do? Evening, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Glad I got my hair cut before this. I would have looked super scraggly. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Ah, 
I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. <sighs> Forgive me. I was unaware. A slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. If he sees me again, I'm guessing I failed the mission. I guess I, I guess this is very much an eavesdrop. I thought like when he went in that room, I was gonna go in and basically hold him up. I could inspect too. Alice. Dante from the mayor. Fabregas to find generosity. Innocent gift you provide a cornerstone. Financing. Funds necessary to fund both Divinity School and the Humanities College. Futures. Great debt to the vision of my. But yeah, the mayor is basically completely in his pocket. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it.
What were the papers? I want to know more about it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> I guess there are more people I could have talked to. Follow the servant without being detected. While at the party, pour some drinks, compliment a guest attire, accept a gift, and save a life. All I did was save a life. Oh well. All right, so we got a bunch of missions we can do. A W Algernon. The guy I meet. I'm guessing the other strangers I can meet at town. The stranger thing. What's this? This is Trelawney. It's investigating the riverboat. I want you to meet at the tailors. Fine night of debauchery. Isn't riverboat how stuff went to shit back in Blackwater? American fathers. Dutch mentioned the gang. Might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in St. Denny on behalf of Rain's American chief. Hmm. Let's go find out. The, the, I usually like working with Trelawney, so let's go check him out first. <laughs> Not a bad day for it. Uncle. I'm going to head on over there. I'm going to change into something less gaudy. Miles, if you take off the hat, this ain't too bad. It's still... You know, like you know, you know, my damn horse. That one's like, ride me, How's senpai. Been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, River. Yes. Well, maybe I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. All right, River, I I gotta go. I went into town. I, I gotta go. So did I. I gotta go. If I was still a. A religious man, I'd say there are too I gotta many go. Catholics there, but I've, I gotta go. I've Please stop. All that. Please stop. Mm. <laughs> Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Please, back please stop. Days. Please leave me alone. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. Okay. He's done, and I'm guessing I just got a new mission from that. I didn't notice. I couldn't, because I had... <laughs> I was trying to just jump on the horse. But uh, after locking, there was a not now reverend option. You joining us? Say, Morgan. Morgan, you yep. got any hair pomade? Nope. Go get a haircut. Hi, fellers. All right. Anyway, um, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here. Then we'll make our way into town, help Trelawney, and then uh, figure out where we want yeah. to go with things from there. So either way, stay tuned. We got all of our leads, and with the uh, garden party done. You know, things are going to escalate. But that's a tale for a different time, and we'll see you guys next time.